welcome back to... I almost said Twisted Metal Head on. Welcome back to Rampage Total Destruction, ladies and gentlemen. Let's turn up the sound here a bit. I think that should be good enough. So we're going to start today's part with San Francisco. Playing as Leon. No, not the Final Fantasy character. Ow. Ow. Okay, so San Francisco. Um, I believe we're still in the beginner base levels. Um, how many levels do we actually have? Let's see here, this one's Vegas, there's San Francisco, there is... I believe the next one is London. And then there's Chicago. I well, I cannot concentrate talking, but... I would like for you to flee before putting me down now. There is Chicago, there is... Los Angeles, there's Hong Kong, and then there's New York. So, seven in total. Oh no, wait a second, I remember now. It took me like about seven sessions to do this. And each one involved a city. So, okay, that makes it a little bit easier to count how many weapons there are in the game. Okay then, that'll work. Um, let's see here. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, for. A little bit of a disclaimer, my wallet back is killing me. Uh, it's m what happened was that I, I slipped, I fell on my ass, and due to my 300 pound weight... Yes, I am a little fat bastard. Uh, due to my 200 pound weight, uh, now my wallet back is killing me. Amongst all the places for my muscles to get sweat, my lower back had to be one of them. Because believe it or not, due to the use of legs, your lower back is involved. A lot. If I sit up, it's going to hurt. If I try to walk, it's going to hurt. If I squat down to pick, like, a few pencils up, it's going to hurt. And it's really annoying. I'm trying to work on the solution here. I think it's low potassium, really. I rarely eat bananas in regard towards, um... In regard towards muscles, and really potassium is just one of them. I hope that's not part of the recording. Yeah, I'm noticing that too, actually. I don't think you miss much, though. What am I playing as? Ralph? Oh, no, wait a second. I think I'm playing as Ralph. It makes a bit more sense. I played as George and Wizzy in the last part. So we're playing as Ralph, not we. Never mind. Yeah, I have poor eyesight. I'm terribly sorry. I have to... I have to sit up straight, like flat out sit up straight, so that my lower back doesn't hurt. A whole lot. So if I could avoid a full lot movement, that would be great. But at the same time, I'm dealing with my fucking eyesight. Which I have been dealing with because I've been playing, been playing emulators on my Nintendo Wii for, for a good while. I'm sitting in a relatively far away area, to which cases you should be able to see it no matter what. But to me, it's like it's like seeing the TV from like 25 feet away. Uh, did we get the? Charge punch? Yeah, we got the charge punch, okay. 
Yeah, whenever you see like an upgrade challenge involving um, the charge punch, you really, really, really want to get that because you want to deal with this repetitiveness as fast as possible. And that's fine where the charge punch kicks into play as well as the jump smash. Um, the spin jump is only useful for dealing with helicopters. And that was by accident. I did not mean to do that. You unleashed another bloody monster. Oh, jolly good. So, really, there's nothing much to talk about when it comes to rampage total destruction. It's all repetitive, very, very repetitive. I cannot stress that enough. And more than likely, that's going to be throughout the entire fucking way through, unfortunately enough. So bear with me as this playthrough is just very repetitive. But I decided to get done and over with for the sake of the fact that I have played this game a lot. I think the game is very boring. And... And really, that's all there is to it. <laughs> I mean... Rampage Total Destruction is a fresh... Is, is quite a fresh restart to the series. As the series name may be right on PlayStation 1, Nintendo 64, and arcades. have the PlayStation 2 hardware, which is way more powerful than the arcades. It's definitely way more powerful than the Nintendo 64 and the PlayStation 1. Well, at least powerful enough to have more polygons on the screen, as well as, um, uh, as well as having smooth which makes the graphics much more smoother. Having actual, like, 3D objects. And really... But more importantly, you have a whole lot more functionality at your disposal. So, you should be able to add something more to the franchise. Instead, they went with the old formula. Ugh. And really, that's why right where the game falls on its ass. I know for a fact that, that I've said this before. I have said this before, like about two, maybe three times. But really, that's all I can really say about Rampage Total Destruction. That's really all I can say. Granted, I really, really, really did not want to do commentary for this playthrough, but... But given by the fact that, apparently enough, I am very prone to copyright infringements. Despite the fact that the company that made this game, Midway, filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. I just really don't want to risk at all anything in front of, you know, copyrights. And having these videos get taken down because of that. I mean, granted, I'm not making money off of these things because I'm not partnered. But... You know... Actually, I do have a funny story about uh, copyrights and things like that. You know how sometimes you look at your copyright, uh, stuff, and you find that, um, some of the uh, copyright claims aren't actually copyright claims, they are, they are actually, uh, used for ad revenue. In my case, these people, whoever puts in the third party ad revenue, is trying to rip money off of me. 
And I believe that was Twisted Metal, the finale of the Twisted Metal Black Point. Which has ads on it right now, because somebody decided to think, Oh, this person looks like he's not bothered. Let's try and gain money out. Yeah, guess what? You made a wrong choice, and I hope that you made like 20 bucks per view on that one, because now you're just wasting your time and energy with me, because as of right now, it's been three months already. Ever since I posted that Twisted Metal Black Finale video. And it's only got three views. Three months, three views. $2.25. Well, that only adds up to like about... Well, I'm saying $2.25 that's like a... That's like a default estimate. As, um... Advertising companies usually get, usually make money whenever people this see such advertisements. Maloney, the San Francisco treat. So the standards are set to low. Well, wait, so I say $2.25 would be the default choice. Whether or not the actual amount is all up to the actual um, af um, advertising company people. Where do you think you're going? So two dollars five cents, uh, three times oh, hey, 2.25. So that would be... Uh, let's see here, three times five is five. Six dollars and forty-five cents. Yeah, that's not a whole lot of money for your company now, isn't it? <laughs> Did I ever explain tanks in the in the uh, rampage games? At all. I don't think I mentioned this in the one shot. Um, the yeah, I don't think I mentioned this during the one shot. Uh, tanks, tanks and rampage games are pretty bad. They take out a fuck ton of health because, well. Things. <laughs> the really powerful things. But, you want to take them out as quickly as you can because not only they they knock out a huge chunk, but in earlier games, they were super annoying. Like, they were super annoying. Every each time they fire, they knock you down and you have to wait for the monster to get back up. And it only takes like about a few seconds for the tank to load up another shot. Which is the same amount of time as you would get for the for the animation of the monster getting up to finish. So by the time you get back up, there is a 70% chance of the tank firing at you again, and then you have to sit through the animation all over again. Tanks in earlier games were super annoying. Luckily, in this playthrough, for one, I have bulletproof health, and second, and second, the uh, the missiles that the the rockets that the tanks launch. Uh, don't knock down your monster, it just hurts really bad. So really, the tanks just become kind of like a nuisance, really? More than... It's not as annoying as it was in the earlier game. Thank God! I cannot stand tanks in... In the earlier Rampage games. They just always knock you down, you only have like about... 
one or two seconds, like literally one or two seconds, to react and to attack. But if you manage to attack a tank, they just they have to pull back instead of just constantly firing. I'm sorry, I did not catch the mission. Oh, well, let's probably uh, collect something instead of the boss. What was the bus of this one? It's going to be another day in the city, by the way. Um, I cannot remember if it was the scum saucer or the or the scum hawk. They have a damn one. I think Wadden had storm had scum hawk. Said Stormheart. <laughs> is that like another? Is that like the brother of Storm Eagle and the cousin of Storm Owl? <laughs> Stormhawk! <laughs> another member of the Storm fa Storm family is the Stormhawk. Okay, uh, okay. The... Um, uh, let's see here. I was talking about tanks earlier. And... No, wait a second, I was trying to think of what was the boss of this level. I think it's the... The Scum Hawk? Mission mode, are we? Or are we just switching monsters because of the hell of it? No, I think we're just switching monsters because of the hell of it. I really, really, really wanted to. I've. I just really, really wanted to show off as many of the monsters as I can, if not all. But unfortunately, though, I didn't really do it because I just wanted to wait to done and over with. I really did not have the time and energy to to record like about 30 minutes worth of showing going off to be the monster oh, each one two minutes, minutes, minutes long, so that you get the idea of the fact that hey, this is what the monster does. However, due to the due to the way how the game is programmed and the way how the game folds out, it just seems to uh, be redundant to try and show off all the different kinds of monsters that appear in the game. There is a total of 30 monsters, being the biggest roster that the Rampage series has ever seen. Usually they only give you like about three extra monsters, maybe one extra, two extra, somewhere in there. But that's like about it. And sometimes they even reuse them for previous games. But in this case, no, they ended up creating 30 to 40 monsters depending on which version you play. The PlayStation 2 and GameCube versions of Rampage Total Destruction only feature about 30 monsters. Later, when the Eternal Wii was released, they decided, Medway decided to release a Nintendo Wii version, which featured, I believe, the only thing that was featured with the port was 10 extra monsters, most of which were, were um, rehashed monsters from earlier games, which was a nice, which was pretty nice to uh, include. You get uh, Boris, you get Boris the Rhinoceros, you get Boris the Rhino, 
That's the animal I was trying to think of. Who only appeared in Rampage... What was it? You and Fulsal Tua? Yeah, Rampage 2, you and Fulsal Tua. There is... Ruby the Lobster, again. Rampage 2, you and Fulsal Tua. Vern, V-E-R-N. With periods in between each word. That there... That monster was introduced in Rampage World Tour. Released on the arcade machines and the Intel 64. However, you only got him in a special way. In such cases, you would have to, um... Eat... Uh, canisters of scum soda that were left right next to a scum labs building. Then your monster will transform into fun, which is pretty cool. And it w and I was quite appalled that they included fun into the Wii version of Rampage Total Destruction because. Uh, because what it's a I know it's a rehash of a monster. I know it's a rehash of a monster, but having to include these these classic monsters that have not been seen since since that one rampage game, it seems pretty cool that uh, they actually do remember those types of monsters. Um, I thought there was also, I think Curtis is a mouse. Supposedly, Curtis is a mouse. And Fred is featured in all versions of the game, but I think Fred is... Oh, so there's the Stormhawk! I was right! It was the Stormhawk! Stormhawk! No! Ugh. Scum Hawk! Scum Hawk! Get down right, you dumbass! Ugh. Stupid sour sex. Anyways, I think Curtis was also included to complete the, uh, to complete the, uh, Rampage 2, Universal 2, a trio. I'm not entirely sure if Mucus was involved at all. I don't remember seeing Mucus being part of the West. So you get 10 extra monsters, and you also get a bonus level, which is Dallas, Texas. And outside of that, that's basically it. I think the rest of the game is essentially what you see right here. Like, no updated... Like, no updated graphics, no updated resolution, no... Like bonus modes or anything like that. But the. But the fact that you, um. But it's with the fact that, um. That they included all those monsters from previous games. It's actually pretty cool. You know, there's, there's no, like, you're not just restricted to having to deal with George, Wizzy, and Ralph. They were fine at first, now they're just there. But, with these new additional monsters, I guess it was kind of like a breath of fresh air. But again, the repetitiveness of the game kills it. A lot of the game is a breath of fresh air for the 
what the franchise, uh, if you want to call it a franchise, I guess series would be a much more proper term. But the repetitiveness just kills it. I'm terribly sorry. Who are we playing as? Gilman? Yeah, it's Gilman, the blowfish. Believe it or not, that's a blowfish. Once again, um, this is the challenge run that we are seeing right now. We completed the initial casual run, and now we're doing the challenge run. As a matter of fact, now that I think about it, if I were getting rid of the uh, challenge runs, if I were have not done the challenge runs, this playthrough would have been five parts less. It would be far less painful. But no, he, me, and me decided, you know what, let's make this an actual one. Make this as interesting as we can possibly make it and just go with the challenge run. That way we can show that we have gotten all the monsters and that there's really not much to it <laughs> at that point. <laughs> Other than enjoy Rampage and all of its old time glory. I believe we are almost done. Ugh. Traffic is people. This is going to be another one of those long-term projects. Like, I really do not look forward to seeing this game. <laughs> Excuse me, quite a bit. As a matter of fact, I'd say that um, before I upload the first initial part, which should be uploaded by now, I say um, I should upload the one shot first, just to get that out of the way. And then from there on, and then from there on, I deal with Rampage and Destruction. So, the very first thing you'll see in the play was, is the one shot. And then, afterwards, you see the initial playthrough, which is Rampage Total Destruction. That is the plan, so therefore, I got my first month quota done at this point, with this part done. I will see you for the next part, and hopefully my back feels better. Thank you.